Hey, I'm Tim Berglund with Confluent. You know, it's not like managing Apache Kafka is all that hard, but it does feel a little strange sometimes when you're using it in development and you have to start up the individual processes manually and hunt around for log directories and things like that. You start to think, it's too bad we're not using a computer for this. Maybe we can even automate some of that work. Well, the good news is that with the Confluent CLI and Confluent Platform 3.3, we've built a little bit of that automation for you. Now, I should mention that this code is free and open source and available for download from confluent.io slash downloads. In it, we've created a command line interface to automate the process of starting and stopping and monitoring the services you need when using the Confluent platform. Now, keep in mind, this works on localhost only, so it's really intended for development. Installing it is easy. It just comes with Confluent Platform 3.3. Just make sure the bin directory is in your path. Then you can access everything through the Confluent command. We'll start by asking for help to see what our options are. Let's try the first item on that list, list itself. Okay, so we've got Zookeeper, Core Kafka, Schema Registry, the REST proxy, and Connect. Now, as a general rule, we can always get more help on a subcommand by typing Confluent help and then that subcommand. Hey, look at that. We can list services, plugins, or connectors. We'll look at those latter two in more detail in another tutorial. For now, let's jump down to status. I can see that Kafka isn't running yet, and neither is Zookeeper. I can start Kafka like this, and the Confluent CLI knows that I need Zookeeper running too, and starts it for me. If I start, say, the REST proxy, it will also start up the schema registry. It still didn't start connect because the REST proxy doesn't need it. I could start it on its own, though. And of course, there's always start all that just makes it all happen at once. Now, I don't need connect right now, so I'm going to stop it with the stop command. Easy as that. Then there are other operational questions, like say, remember, I'm running this in development, and wait, where again are the data and log directories? Well, the current command tells me the directory where those things live. As a shortcut, we have the log command that opens up the log file of the service we want to see. By default, it opens it in less, but I can add the dash F flag to tail the log. Then there are things you do in development that you never do in production, like, say, nuking all your data and starting from a clean slate. Confluent Destroy does just that. It's great for running tests locally or just getting your dev environment back to some known initial conditions. There's even more than that to the Confluent CLI, but now that you know the basics, you're ready to start using it. And hey, spread the word. This is a cool command that packs a lot of productivity punch.